Our sages tell us that everything is in the hands of heaven except fear of heaven. What that means is that God makes every decision regarding our lives. How smart we're going to be, how attractive, how tall, how successful, except for one decision. To what extent are we going to let God into our lives? That's our decision. And there's no limit on that. You can go out tomorrow and decide to be as religious as you'd like. No one puts any limit on that because the beauty is that you're not in competition with anyone else, only with yourself. When you get to heaven, you're not asked, why weren't you Moses? You're asked, why weren't you you? Why didn't you use those talents that God gave you to get closer to him? And with that in mind, maybe we could understand a beautiful passage that's almost hidden in the middle of this week's total portion. Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse 13. You should be wholehearted with the Lord your God. With? That's awfully strange sounding. I would have thought it should say that you should be subjugated to God. You should be under him. You should accept his dominion. You should serve him. With him sounds like you're co-equals of a sort, that there's a give and take, that you're partners, that you're friends. Would you like to meet my new friend? God. How can that be? But now let's think back to what the sages have told us. Everything is in the hands of heaven except for fear of heaven. God has everything. Undoubtedly, he's got an awesome baseball card and comic book and classic car collection, custom suits, jets, yachts, you name it, he's got it. What can you possibly give to the guy who has everything? Well, there's one thing the sages are telling us that he doesn't have. By definition, fear of heaven. He doesn't fear himself. That's the one thing that we can give to him. And if we do give that to him, then we're with him. We compliment him in both senses of the word. And what better time to do that than in Elul, the month we've just begun, the month that leads us into Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the month in which we feel closest to God, the month in which we, if we but listen, can hear him calling out to us, I've missed you, come back, I need you. Now that's not to say that it's always easy to serve God, but when you compare all the things that he gives us with the little bit that we can give him, you realize that he's not asking too much, is he? Thank you.